This is the time on Plus TV Africa where we we'll discuss the biggest entertainment stories and have lifestyle conversations. My name is Elsie Godwin and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olua Oshoke. It's good, it's good. You right? You Hello. Right? You right? Roll your wave. You know how it goes. If this is with your wave, then I don't want to be royal. Below the belts, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I so. Can take it. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can take it. You can take anything. Yeah, 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 of course. From every corner. Yeah, I can. Front and back. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Okay, okay, so. Explicit. Clarence, how is that explicit? It's your <laughs> mind that is explicit. <laughs> I said you can take anything front and back. Okay, side left. Yeah, side mm -hmm. left, up, down. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So moving on, and I guess it's good news for Clarence Peter. He has been granted bail four days after arrest over death of video vixen picture Kodak. According to reports, the video director was granted an administrative bail after the police commenced investigations on the death of the dancer. Reports say that the investigation included a visit to the director's home studio where she died and an autopsy conducted by Lagos State Government, which showed the dancer died from the effects of electric shock while charging her phone. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you are detained while there's an, there's an investigation, is that an arrest? Because I think that the bloggers are using the wrong choice of words here. Mm. And when I looked at the official statements, it didn't say arrest. It said release, but it didn't say arrest. Um, we need to be very careful because we're in a council era and I don't want... I'm trying to just preserve the guy's reputation because we need to be very careful with the terms. Like arrest if is not the same. it's in your record that you are arrested for exactly. murder, or, or like being suspect mm. of murder, that's not really the same thing. So just to clear why that was out he detained? There, detained is the word. I mean, why was he detained? For investigation. Yes, the, but detained is the word. Detained and arrest is not the same thing. Well, well done. Congratulations. Detained to is him, being I kept. Guess. Arrest is going to pick up. If, uh, can you analyze this <laughs> issue as a lawyer that you are? Let's move forward. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Go on, go on. I'm listening. Oh, you want me to talk about it? Oh, I thought you were saying something. Sorry. All right, so I think um, this is good news. But what I still don't get is, in as much as you're trying to protect your reputation, all along he's been in detention. So why did he come out to tell us that it wasn't in detention? No, he, he said, said he, he went arrested. willingly. Because that's oh, why I'm okay. saying that the choice of words are different. Somebody arrests you, you've been found guilty of something, and they come and read you your, I don't know if they read anything. So he never denied the fact that he... And then he never got arrested. He, he said he wasn't, he, was, he, he willingly went, willing, went yeah, there. And he got and detained. The, the, yeah, and he's giving the police whatever, the time to whatever. He's cooperating with the Yes, that's the word. Although it seems like that maybe, I'm just giving benefits of the doubt, that's what he started as, but then they started retaining him even away from his, like, willingness to cooperate. Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah, it sounded like that. So um, I'm just happy that his name is finally cleared because um, a lot of people had started bringing out old stuff like uh, Clarice once raped us, is aggressive, is this. Do you understand? I don't know if you guys, his, his girlfriend had to come out. His girlfriend of about seven years had to come out to release a long epistle. You guys didn't see that? Mm -mm. Well, he, she was defending him. Actually. Yeah, she yeah, was so defending she said, okay. him. So because people now started bringing out rape allegations, oh, him being that. aggressive and all of that. That. So Nigerians sometimes we, sh we should be slow to judge people. Human yeah, human beings. Yeah, <laughs> generally, but especially Nigerians, if oh, you wow. ask me. Okay. Especially we judge a lot because yeah, that's when people will start to say, ah, that guy in secondary school he was like, no, come mm. on, man, that was secondary. No, the, the one I, I, I would expect that would be part of that pack because I deliberately didn't look for that Money reaction. Uh -huh. I know. All, <laughs> the, all the videos so, he has been his video only is him. always nice. Only him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is he to renew his ritual for the year. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for him, but then um, let's not forget the um, family that is grieving. So, um, rest in peace to mm. Peter mm. Kodak and um, me. Let's not do that mistake again, but um, God heal your soul. Moving mm. on, Nollywood actor and model Daniela Gray apologizes over body shaming tweets after nine years. This came after he was reminded of the tweets by another Twitter user. So Daniela had earlier advised people to stop making negative comments about other people's body when Twitter diss you gang. I mean, there, there are different gangs on Twitter, but this was a called diss you. They dug out his old tweets where he made offensive remarks on people's body. Responding to the tweet, he said, these tweets were made nine years ago and do not represent how I think and feel right now. I'm a full supporter of body positivity and do not believe in fat shaming. Mm. Um, like, 
a story we did sometime a few weeks back that they said the internet is now your reset mm. and it's now your CV. So be careful what you put out there because people will always bring he was quite something young out. At the time. Yeah. So I, what I was, what I'm going to say is that at the same time, in as much as Dinola said this nine years ago, and I checked his age and somebody I couldn't find it on his Wikipedia page, but um, someone told me that he's 26, 27. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So if 26, 27 minus, it was still a kid as well. Mm. No, for real. Let's let's give him a benefit of a doubt. Like mm -hmm. it was still a kid. Maybe he knows better now with more exposure, more he's, he's met different. There's people. always room for growth, and, whether you're a kid or an yeah. Adult, and yeah. then being. Um, who he is as well in terms of how people tend to judge him based on his sexuality because he has um yes no <laughs> then a lot has um feminine traits we right. all know that well, that's, um, what, that's what's sexuality no thing. no a lot of no that's what i'm getting to he, he has feminine traits so a lot of people are questioning his sexuality right. and being in that position as well you would right. know how it feels to be shamed right. for your nature mm -hmm. you understand right. so i'm sure that he's a better person right now yeah um, hallelujah did you have this energy for Kevin Hart? <laughs> Did God you? bless you for saying that. <laughs> no, before you dive out, you've not made your own point. That's so. actually oh, my okay, point. Okay, because ahead. you <laughs> cannot compare the two. It's actually like, it's such a nonsensical comparison as far as I'm concerned. Because Kevin Hart did something a thousand years ago and he was still like that even till today. Kevin Hart used to like shame women. He used to make racist comments and he still had evidences of, he cheated on his pregnant wife. Like, he was a scum to me, still a scum. Very different. Mm. Um, mm. If you have something that you did in the past and you have first of all accepted, that's one. You have accepted that this used to be me and then you have translated into now mm -hmm. advocating for the thing that you now like have changed, have become. This is completely different. No, telling me but are we talking about the, the, I mean, for Kevin Hart now, what he did or what you are thinking that he has done? What, what is that? Because we are talking about, when it comes to his tweets, about racial slurs mm -hmm. and um, not racial, oh, so the racial gay, the gay, gay thing. Yeah. Gay thing. And that he has come out to say, he, is a, he, he, has, he apologized over and over again, which was why okay, when that thing was one, brought right. up again and he was saying oh you cannot host it was the award okay. again i okay. cannot host it he okay. said you know what on twitter let, it let wasn't about the racist one it was about the rape one um and that Have one, you raped someone there was a there was a rumor about that um the, I, I to me almost every celebrity in america has a rumor <laughs> um to me this that that if you're using if you're using the racist um tweet that to me applies in the same context he accepted it and he doesn't have any of that anymore he's involved and yeah. he's become a better person mm. i don't think anyone has the right to then hold him back there's a lot of people like including myself where i've like i've completely changed like it's not the same person and i don't think i will be the same person tomorrow like there's things i'm advocating now and i'll probably do it anymore and i'm like you know what and i think everybody has the space to do that i i was very weird that people were, were looking at dinola as like a special case um, and I don't think so. I think the reason why it was, it felt like a special case is because we've seen him mm. really live the truth that he doesn't think like that anymore. Mm -hmm. Just to put that out there. Okay. So, um, this you Twitter, please continue digging so that people will be apologizing for their past. But we'll um, go on a quick break. When we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Make music and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Mm. Music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Mm 
Welcome back. I think this is going to be a juicy conversation. But in an Instagram live session with Token Makin, our media personality, Ike Osakejoa, dished out relationship advice on what it means to date down and dating differently. Stating that he doesn't believe in the concept of dating down, he said you need to assess yourself and decide what works for you. And that is if you want somebody where you are. He also revealed that men have... Um, side chicks before because they want feel to feel needed. needed. Yeah, so if, if I, I should care. Big shout out to IK, man. IK just said everything right. Mm. And um, Toke was trying to ask, okay, Toke asked them that, how do you, why do men go that even if a woman is independent and she's still doing everything right, men still, and he's like, and it was like, depending on how you treat the man, even though you're an independent woman. Because Tokyo was like, she doesn't really mind, even if the guy doesn't, because they were talking about dating down as well. Like, and Ike was like, he doesn't understand the concept of dating down. That is exactly what you want. You go for what you want. If you want somebody in your class, go for somebody in your class. If you want somebody who has your type of money, go for somebody with your type of money. That mm. It's about what you want. So it's not about dating down. And Tokyo was like, ah, she, she, she really doesn't care as long as she can. Um, she sees somebody with prospect. Um, mm. I'm not those are not exact words but you see somebody mm. will prospect and that but this men still acts like they're lesser and it was like no it's not about you having it now and then the man is like, how do you treat him mm. do you understand do you make him feel like he doesn't have mm. do you understand because it's okay for you to say I want to date a man and I really don't care about his money I love him but every time there's an argument you like <laughs> um, uh, if uh, some people's um... <laughs> Some, say, some oh, people say, say um, what is it that's under your engine now? Because, uh, <laughs> I feel like some men are just too fragile with their egos. Like I have a to treat fragile, you like actually. a king. No. I have to really like no. you can't even no. argue that because that's what he has said. Extent. They want like, to feel needed. needed, and I think that's a bad thing. I think you no. have. He so... backed it up with the Bible, and that was so amazing. <laughs> Why are you guys so religious? No, like no, no, like no. This? When you use religion as a mask to be stupid, I'm sorry, I'll have to pull it out because you can use you can use religion to prove why women shouldn't be talking at all. It literally says be women should be mute. So, like, come again. <laughs> but um, <laughs> my own is that men need to. We, I, I really, I have a problem with Nigerian, men, African men. Really, but I will say Nigerian because I haven't lived in the whole of Africa. No, no, no. There is something Hold about up. the fact we're not. We are not Hold developing up. ourselves Hold truly up. and Let's deeply. We are milking toxic traits as normal. If you say that you want to be needed and then you master as a gender thing like that, that's just how men are. It's really sick. Like you need to start to really like get grounded in yourself that even if a woman does not point and <laughs> feeds you dreams about how great you are, you are okay with that. I kind of feel like, like everybody uh, wants to be needed. Exactly. Yeah, no, but even as a woman, okay. it, Look, to a point so, where you need side chicks, that's a problem. No, not the side chick. I'm not saying that is a reason to have a side chick. I'm <laughs> saying so that fire. in a relationship, <laughs> is it all my as a woman, I want to be needed. Like, if I feel like, this is personal now, if I'm in a relationship with you and I feel like there is nothing, like absolutely nothing um, that makes you want to need me for, even if it's just this reason, I, I kind of feel like, what am I doing here? What's the point anyway? So I think everybody wants to be needed one way or the other. Now, you also mentioned something, something in that video. He said needing is not about money. It's not about a certain thing. It could be a need that he is fulfilling. He he might not Ask even him understand. For his he might not even understand that. And your wife, your wife's point, need is not enough? Makes, let me explain. Wife's need how? The wife has a need now. Someone what, that's married. This is like a vice no. versa thing. It's not saying it has been, to judge And then said the no. right word. She said partnership. Yeah. You need to have a partner. Now, the fact that you're more influential or you have a good business. Okay, let's assume we're dating, right? Mm. Azu with me. Let's assume <laughs> myself and Elsie were dating, yes, right? Yes, dear. Mm. Isn't it? Yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she has more money. Mm -hmm. Than I do. I press uh, oh! No, we are dating now. It's an assumption. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Sorry. Go on. Mm. And she has more money than I do, right? And then because of that, she has a business she's running. Mm -hmm. And then she comes home. I'm right there. I'm sitting. I'm watching maybe a football match or something. And she comes to the house and she feels the need to call 
another friend to say, oh, you can't believe what happened. No. Wait, 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 hold up. Let me, wait, let me help wait, wait, wait. Okay. And she's like, you can't believe what um, I'm having this problem. I'm, what? Do you understand? Like, mm -hmm. that guy let will feel like, ministry. so I cannot mm -hmm. make a valid suggestion. That, let me help your ministry, Fair. Did you watch Self Made by Jesse, mm -hmm. whatever? Mm -hmm. That, for me, is what I, I think IK is talking about. When the person has become so independent that they just don't need, just they need somebody else. They just don't need your opinion on that. IK made it clear and that it's not about to, money as well. It's, it's that, not about money either. Opinion. It's not about money. This is about being very but down to earth and grounded. into this conversation would kind of make it look somehow because for me personally, I feel the man in self-made was not even trying to reinvent himself. So he became you don't very think that, You rigid don't think that that's what these men do when you like leave your wife? Instead of, even, instead of going deeper and doing that hard work in terms of leveling up to that person, you go to smaller girls that will tell you, oh honey, I need yeah. 1,000. It's the same thing. Like you're not developing, you're not thinking in, I don't say and I don't like think it's a man thing right now. What she's saying right now, I think it's on it falls for both sides. But like, I, I, I think it happens more with, with men. men. Let me tell you why. When a woman is with a strong man, they're not that threatened. If anything, what well, it's easy for us to show why in awe. Mm. And oh my gosh, teach me. Yeah, like I want to learn. But when it's it's a man, it's like. Mm. Mm. But and do then you they know want to constantly do. Have you seen any man that has ever gone a full day mm -hmm. without his importance being measured with his wealth? Or with the impact it makes, yeah. you know. That is the reality of being a man. Yeah, no, no and it's generally, a that's it's the a reality. Toxic we don't problem. go a single day in life without mm. somebody making reference to Yo. your importance, yeah. which in comparison with how much money you have in your bank yeah. account. I agree. So that is the reality of being a man. Yeah, if I, no, 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 no. That is the societal reality. You still have an individual choice. <laughs> To be better than that, to be better than like a standard, because women have the same pressure. Yeah, and guess what? You, we don't yeah. always fit that. For me, it's every day of like, oh, you can't cook. Ah, this shallow fries is not nice, so, so you're not um, worthy enough. That was it's not it's not a mm, good enough that. excuse to still now then just conform to that, and then I'm not gonna find small boys that would like the jollof fries that I can cook. <laughs> like it doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we moving on or not? <laughs> Let's move on. Okay. I don't think we're gonna end this one. Mm -hmm. Ladies, dating men who genuinely like us is key. It seems like common sense, but many women focus their energy on men they have to chase. Constantly auditioning for them, regularly trying to prove their value because the man don't recognize it. Let's go where we are celebrated. This does not mean don't do nice things for the guy you like. It means don't do the most for the guy who hasn't shown you he genuinely likes you back. If he is not coming with the right energy, why bend backwards to prove anything to him? End of quote. And this is coming from actress and photographer Tony Tones. This is one I would say. Sorry, do you want to? No, no, go on, go on. I said this is one I would say is for both, um, you know, genders and everything. But how do you know someone who loves you genuinely? Uh, I use your head. Yeah, <laughs> no. You have to really use your head. Forget your heart for a second. I just use your head. I, um, I, I would say this more for Nigerian women. Like I feel like. I'm not really feeling the culture that is breeded in Nigeria. I've said it's on the table very well with like how we ex what we expect from men and how we really just want to become not everyone, but we want to become useless so that this man can provide all your needs. Like I will show a picture, I'll show a picture to a friend, a girl who success to him. Like ah, oh, this person is probably sleeping with a good boyfriend or something. Like the idea that I have to put all my um, all my needs into this man, it starts, it, it, it's too imbalanced because then you're not really molding or growing with that person. You're not giving as much. And I think that's what she's trying to say. So I kind of understand that. But if you want to just stick to her comments about a woman not, not doing too much, of course, like you have to, again, use your head. I think it's important for any gender to start to really like guard their hearts at first. It took me a while to mm. actually be able to like, say that oh, I've given you my mumu button, even for mm. a while, even like a year into dating, like I know I love this person, but I'm still like using my head first. Even my, my gestures are measured, and I, I, it might sound a bit much, but they are, they're measured. If I feel like, oh, you've done really well, but I want to buy you a plane, and you've only bought me a pencil, I will think about it and buy you a sharpener. Mm. But then what she's trying wow. to say here, I think, is not about those that are even already in a relationship. It's for those who are single and are still looking and trying to see, oh, will this work or not? And I think I'm on this table she's talking about. So there are people who actually really likes you, and but you don't like them. And sometimes I feel like there's nothing you can do about it because... 
the heart wants what it wants at the end of the day. So uh, maybe sometimes you just need to take a step back to try to look at the people that are chasing you from a different perspective rather than just looking at those who um, you think are good for you and don't really appreciate you. Because she went on in those series of tweets to talk about respect as well. So that is not just about um, doing things for you or being available when you want them to be available. It's about how they respect your opinion and your personality as well. So I, I think this is something that's very common both for both sexes. Mm. Um, we tend to pay attention to people who don't, don't want exactly you. want you or mm. love you the way you want to be yeah. loved. And those who are ready to do that, um, it, it is not I, happening. And it's good to make that distinction. Oh, sorry. No, it's, I'll, I'll, it's good to make that distinction because if you're single, I would really advise you to use your head. But once you get into a relationship, I mm. think... Um, then I would maybe not agree to this because I think sometimes if my man is 20%, I will have to give the 80% for that relationship to survive yeah. for the meantime, like ride it on. And if he's giving me a shop, then I'll buy him a plane or whatever for that meantime. And then you can thrive on. But if you're not, if you're starting something, then like you have to really become like really sensitive because there's people out there that just want you for convenience or money or sex or like, you know, certain other reasons. So... Sorry. I would advise a lot of women to actually date men that actually love them it's more than they love the right. person or the it should be a balanced love like know that this person loves me as why? much why as the men I, so making an effort mm? and you're seeing yeah, it yeah yeah well, well, why men why not women like, I said women I said women I'm advising women No you are you yeah, saying, yeah, saying why should yeah, why do the you men that we love more because only more way um you, you know <laughs> you know men you, I don't want to use I those agree. same words. Just agree. You know we are getting on this table. <laughs> Just agree. I don't want to use those same words, but um, if a man, I feel like sometimes if we feel too loved, right? We feel too, you know, <laughs> for our shoulder pad. I so you should have have to used to come up small, right? You get, and then you feel like you have the right to misbehave anyway. She loves. Not really have the right to misbehave. Maybe there's, there's some people say they start looking for another chase <sighs> wow. to conquer. Okay. No, 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 not in all cases. I think right. sometimes it just affects the way you treat the other person because you feel like I can but get away with anything. So? Right. Do you understand? It's not supposed to be so, and it's not all men that are like that. True. I'm not a man like that. Mm. Okay. You know now, we're not dating on this table. <laughs> ah, we are dating. Ah, it's not like that, though. <laughs> <laughs> My fear should get it. It's not like that. Fair enough. So, so I think um, this is just to the women out there because I know that um, they say for every man, there are 10 women. Mm. But I don't know about women. I don't know no, what they say. No, there isn't. There's reasons, more right? women yeah, than so men. I, I would, this one is for the ladies, strictly for the ladies. Just make sure that whoever you're dating is... Um, it loves you more mm. or the love is balanced that you need to know that this person loves me as much this yeah. person is willing to sacrifice as well as much as i'm willing to sacrifice as well because i've seen i mean it might be my opinion or my own assessment of things but i've seen a lot of successful good men end up with men who don't oh, really care about painful. them mm. a lot of them and, you, and it, because they're chasing the wrong thing yes well. which is what i'm saying mm -hmm. so there, there 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 has to be or used to be a girl who was all over you and was ready to do anything to make sure but you want to what you wanted and you mm. went for it so i've seen a lot of them this is not hearsay mm. and they end the up with now. someone yeah, yeah and they're i think the men like a lot of shiny it's stuff yeah. Um, yeah. they like that shiny idea so sometimes they'll they'll they'll, they'll have the body outside they know the what they want in theory but when it's time to choose the body takes over yes their parents the they want the trophy wide yeah mm. that's quite shallow all Very shallow. And you must enjoy what you've can't help us all i guess as you lay your bed so you are lying on it fam Okay, that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and do join the conversation by sending us your opinion via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this conversation and all exclusive content by also subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shankaye and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe. <laughs>